you have a drafty house or problems with bugs and potential rodents, we're going to talk about how to fix that today on Detached Garage. We're going to talk about sealing the bottom plate to the foundation with our new sponsor, Polyguard. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Detach Garage. Today we are talking about our new sponsor, Polyguard, and using their gap filler and liquid flash product since my existing house was built in 1998 and has no house wrap on it. And then we're gonna talk about filling the gap between the two buildings, the new building and the old building. And then we're also gonna talk about the connection between the foundation and the bottom plate of the house. So let's talk about the tools you're gonna to need for this project. Polyguard's gap filler, their blue barrier gap filler, and their liquid flash product are what you're gonna need. I use the sausage tubes, and with the sausage tubes, you need a sausage gun applicator. This is the Milwaukee M18 sausage gun. Um, and then what you're also gonna need is some masking tape to help with cleanup. You're gonna tape the bottom plate and the foundation so you can just spread it over the top and rip it right off. The other thing you're gonna want, depending on the gap you're trying to fill, are some different nozzles for your sausage gun. And then if you wanna reuse those nozzles, you're gonna want some mineral spirits to clean up afterwards. I'll put all the links to these products in the description below. So let's talk product specifics. This is Blue Barrier Gap Filler. The really nice thing about this is we're in Wisconsin. It's about 37 degrees today. And this can be used and applied down to 25 degrees, which is great for winter applications. You're gonna to wanna to store it above 40 degrees though, and this cures once it hits air. So um, be sure that you're capping your gun when you're done and not in use. So we're gonna talk about applying it between the old house, which is built in 90, 1998 and doesn't have any house wrap on it, and the Huber zip system. We're gonna fill this gap right here to help with uh, reducing air and draft and bugs and potentially rodents as well. So we'll seal these two together. This gap filler can fill up to three quarters of an inch gap. So a pretty big gap. If you go bigger than that, you're gonna wanna put some backing in there and then fill over the top. So we have the first section masked off. We've got the foundation mask and then we've got the mask up here. And so I've got the wide tip on the Milwaukee Tool sausage gun. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down from the top. There's already some caulk here, but we're gonna just go right over the top of that. And so we'll go down and then we'll go over and then we will rip this off once it's set up. It sets up and it's no longer tacky to the touch. So about four to 12 hours. If you're gonna go over the top of it, you really want to wait 24 hours if possible. So we have the first strip done between the house and the new garage, and then we've laid the bead here uh, between the foundation and the bottom plate. So we're making sure to cover up any nail holes, and um, we I just wanted to show you what it looks like once the bead is laid, but it's before squeegeeing, and this is what it looks like after we squeegee and kind of get it um, flattened out. Make sure it's flat, and again, it's a little cold to work with it right now since it's only 37 degrees out, but you can apply this down to 25. Other thing, we're on the south side of the house and this has direct exposure to the sun. There's a nine month exposure warranty on this product. So one of the cool things about the Polyguard Blue Barrier Liquid Flash is it sticks to all sorts of different types of material. The block, the wood, the sheathing, and even the foam in the Zip R3 barrier. And you get a continuous barrier of flashing for your windows, doors, and even your connection from your foundation to your sheathing. So we have the entire foundation to sheathing connection completed around the house. We've still got the orange uh, masking tape on, but this was pretty easy. This went, uh, this is day two, but it went about an hour and a half to get all this done. So a special shout out to Polyguard for sponsoring this episode with their Blue Barrier Liquid Flash and their Blue Barrier Gap Filler. We're gonna have another episode coming up with their Liquid Wrap product where we're going to put that on our existing house that has no house wrap on it, no Tyvek, no nothing. And we're gonna use that as the weather barrier for our house and the connection between the house and the garage. 
Thanks again for sponsoring this episode, Polyguard. If you have any questions on the products we use, the tools we use, please look in the description below and please put those questions in the comments below. Thanks again for watching Detach Garage.